Hey YouTube, DJ, this is DJ Advice, also DJ Morrow. Hey, we're doing a tutorial on uh, video mixing with the RMX, and I'm just going to show you a brief overview. Um, I have a virtual DJ, and it's a 6. Point, what was it, 6.1, or the latest version. Anyway, and I also subscribe to um, basically a service called GrooveShark. Excellent service. Uh, it still has, uh, you know, <laughs> There's my cat, Annie. Quality uh, uh, MP3s, uh, instant access, just like uh, on demand, just as long as you have internet access. But you can also cache. The, all these videos are cache. In other words, they're stored. I don't know if you would call it download. I don't know how it works, but it's called cache. So maybe it's storage. But it's pretty cool. Um, I can uh, uh, basically search the internet for videos, and I just check out the quality. Kind of like LimeWire, but a little bit better because uh, the content on the uh, GrooveShark, you can go there and check it out and see which one is the best because it has a little green, uh, little plus sign indicating that that's the best quality uh, from what I've been told. But it's still great. So uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of video mixing and we'll go from there. Anyway, uh, I'm alive! <laughs> anyway, good to see you guys. Hopefully this uh, tutorial might help you uh, mix video. Okay, guys, this is uh, DJ Advice, also DJ Morrow. I'm here uh, with my Hercules RMX DJ console, and uh, <laughs> Annie's over here. Uh, she's joining me. And I have my trusty American Audio uh, headphones, as well as a little LCD screen going on, Bose speakers, my, uh, my PC with uh, Virtual DJ 6.1. I'm going to go through a little uh, tutorial here on basically how to do... Uh, <laughs> Annie, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, hopefully you don't, that doesn't bother you guys. But anyway, she's, she's she's not hungry, honest. I'm not starving her. But anyway, we're going to continue uh, with the... Uh, we're going to continue <laughs> with uh, Virtual DJ 6.1. And we're going to show you a little uh, video mix, uh, how to do that. So uh, if you notice, uh, there's a master out. That's what the audience sees on your LCD or whatever projector or whatever you want to use. And that's master out, and you see deck A, deck B. So it corresponds with uh, a Hercules RMX. It makes the Hercules RMX or any mini controller into a video mixer. How that's awesome! You, you don't, you know, it's uh, considering the cost of video mixers. I don't know if you've priced them lately, but they're pretty pricey. Uh, you know, they're in the thousands and thousands of dollars. But right now we're going to convert this MIDI into a video mixer. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm going to show you how you uh, can do a basic video mix. Uh, right now we're going to go to my folder. And uh, the cool thing about going to 6.1, you can you have the opportunity of having uh, net search. I'm not sure if they're going to cut that off. I, I can't say uh, if Atomics or if they are going to decide to just have a Groove Shark, which is a service that I subscribe to. It's $9.99 a month, uh, $9.99 a month U.S., and that gives me a subscription of 8 million uh, MP3 songs, uh, quality, uh, you know, songs. So I can virtually uh, use MP3s, um, you know, I mean, just I have an endless amount of MP3s. Uh, and that's on demand, or you can cache it. In this case, I cache these videos from NetSearch. I have uh, quite a few in here. Uh, not quite a few, about right here you see 27. But you can cache as many as you want. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just choose a song. As you notice, I said the, they're empty right now. These, the, this is, these are little screens right there. And what, what I'm going to do is that's how you queue up your videos through these screens. I'm going to highlight down here. Just click on uh, a song. And I just, I'm just i going to choose a song. And this one is, uh, if you can see it, about 125 uh, beats per minute. 125 beats per minute. So I'm going to play the song, and you're going to notice that it's going to play right now, hopefully. Oh, we haven't even loaded the song. I'm sorry. My bad. We have to load the, the song. We go, we highlight it. Forgot about that step. It wouldn't have worked. We go to, it says load deck A, as I told you before in my previous video. So I hate load it. Sorry about that. And what it's going to do, it's going to load the video. As you notice, there's a video right there. Lucky I did that, Annie, huh? What do you think? Was it a good idea? He's going there, yeah, right? Anyway, so we love that video. So I'm going to play the video right now, and I'm going to bring the volume up. And if you notice, when I do that, 
see how that screen changes it kind of uh, it kind of brightens up the screen so if I if I did my crossfader this way so you check it out it go blank so I'm using the crossfader goes blank so anyway I'm gonna turn on the song and hopefully you got the right volume and the video is playing so I'm gonna do a little uh, little mix here with the video so kind of show you how it works on virtual DJ as you notice there's nothing on deck B so I'm gonna choose a song from my uh, my cache uh, hit that one that's 126 a little bit faster but it doesn't really matter this is close enough so once again I'm gonna go down there to my Hercules unit and then I'm gonna load it and it's loading now, as you notice, it blanked up the screen because the video starts with uh, with a blank screen. Most videos do that. But I'm going to advance it. I'm going to take my headphones. I'm going to hear what's playing on deck B. And I'm going to make a little loop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my advance buttons. Check it out. My advance buttons on my Hercules. And see what it does. It advances the video. And pretty soon you'll see the video. There it is. But I'm going to make a loop. So I put it on a transition called uh, strobe, but I'm going to put change the transition right now. I'm going to put it on satellite boom. I'll show you why, because it can kind of show you. I'm going to show you what it does. See the transition? It's You can kind of see it there, right? And up here, the same thing. Now we're going to change the transition so that it's different, but I just wanted to show you that transition. And I have a little loop going on with the other video. See, it's like a loop. So we're going to go back to that original video. And then we're going to change the transition so you can uh, kind of see this other cool one I like is Strobo. So we're going to go to Strobo. It's Strobo or Strobo. And yes, you notice how it's strobing in and out of each video. It's kind of a cool, I think it's kind of a cool effect for video. So we're going to transition into that video right now. So there you go. That's a video mix with a virtual DJ. It makes any MIDI controller uh, basically a video controller via virtual DJ. But anyway, it's a cool, cool little thing. And somebody asked me, does it, does it, does it scratch? Yeah, you can scratch video. So it depends on how creative you want to be with the jog wheels. And they do, you can adjust the sensitivity. You can map this out any way you want. You can do whatever you want with the, uh, with the MIDI controller. You can change this to be a pitch control. I don't know. It's whatever, how creative you want to be. Hey, anyway, once again, I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, want to say to everybody out there, good gig, God bless. And if you have any comments, post them uh, down below on the video. And uh, once again, practice and enjoy.